Welcome to all who have landed on this page as either a visitor or as a supporter. We thank you and we pray for you uh, constantly. I'm being asked a number of questions of uh, all about church community, who we are, what we stand for and such questions as that. And I'm going to answer a few of those now. So who are church community? I am the founder of church community. My snapshot testimony goes a little like this. At the age of five to six years old, I asked Jesus into my heart to be my special friend. And a, a key verse at that time was Philippians chapter four, verse 13. And I'll unpack those in later tutorials and videos um, around those scriptures. But Philippians chapter four, um, verse 13 was absolutely prevalent for my formative years growing up and then I got baptized at the age of 16 to 17 years old and as that happened the uh, words of Matthew chapter 28 verses 18 to 20 were spoken over me and those were the uh, the passage of the great commission where Jesus of course commands us to go and to preach and teach and go to all at the ends of the earth. So that became the heartbeat of my evangelism. Constantly it was just um, spoken over me, the Great Commission became the heartbeat to all the evangelistic work and uh, um, the resume of my life really, that became uh, everything that I was about, just to tell people about Jesus, the good news of the gospel and that Jesus was for all who put their trust in him as Lord and Saviour. But then at the age of 25 to 26, something drastically changed. I had the uh, an experience of the second baptism. And uh, obviously, I can go into that more detail in further videos. But uh, Isaiah 61 became the heartbeat and it became a heart for the individual rather than just going and telling people about Jesus. I wanted to get alongside them. I wanted to get alongside the lost and I cared far more with a heart attitude for the individual, for the lost. And that became um, the essence of really my life's work, if I can call it that, um, alongside other things in my life. Um, you know, gaining qualifications, gaining to other job roles and holding down various jobs and various roles. Um, Isaiah 61 became the heartbeat of telling everyone and getting alongside everyone with the gospel message. So church community aims to work alongside all Bible based and Bible believing churches uh, within the United Kingdom and around the world in order to engage in evangelism and community development. I think both go hand in hand. As Christians, we should be people that influence our communities, that are engaged in our communities, but also with the main emphasis of pointing and leading people to Jesus Christ. But we've also got to be um, standing in the gaps in prayer, and we've also got to engage in making the community a better, safer place. So question, what is church community? Church community is a group of Bible believing Christians that have a heart for all individuals to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Saviour. As stated in Romans chapter 10 verse 13, uh, paraphrased, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. We want to proclaim Jesus across the nation and the nations and for everyone to know that everyone and anyone who calls on the name of Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour will be saved. So when was church community formed? Well, church community was formed as a direct response to what I'd call a waning a waning presence of church involvement and engagement uh, where the church almost retreated and over the past 
100, 200 years. I'm not that old, don't worry. Uh, but over that time, the church has taken a back seat and moved out of the political sphere, uh, you know, the engagement in politics and lawmaking. And it's really started to take what would be seen as a, a back seat in a Christian nation and where it should be uh, obviously um, extending the gospel throughout the world and standing on God's holy word, uh, the Bible and all the truths within. So it was as a response to uh, a lack of church involvement and church engagement to share the gospel message as described in Matthew chapter 9, 37, paraphrased, where the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We need to engage and we need to bring people to a saving knowledge of Jesus so that they can multiply and ripple that through the nation and the nations. So where do we operate church community? Church community is actively involved within evangelism and outreach in the United Kingdom. That's, uh, we do that in a range of ways, street work, door-to-door uh, -door evangelism, and through a range of, uh, if I can call it covert evangelism, where we do Bible drops and we produce literature. We go into neighbouring schools and partners with colleges and universities, care homes, hospitals, etc. And we preach the word of God and we come alongside individuals that need to know Jesus as Lord and Saviour. So we work all across the United Kingdom, but we're also involved remotely and digitally around the world with partner churches and we're seeing that this ministry is growing as we provide the tutorials, uh, we provide the how-to guides and we also provide the daily devotions that can come alongside uh, young believers, new believers but of course we signpost them to um, local Bible believing churches that can pastor and disciple them. That's absolutely critical. We're only uh, here to tell people about Jesus and to direct to the local Bible believing church um, where they can then get fed and nourished regularly. So we're only working alongside churches. We're not a denomination. We're not professing to be. And we're a range of Christians that come from a number of denominations but are all professing Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour and come around certain principles that make us collectively um, a group of Christians with the same uh, heartbeat and the same vision of those gospel truths to go and share and tell others about Jesus Christ and to faithfully then um, hold each and every individual very, very lightly as they are then fed into local Bible believing churches. So we're all about building the kingdom of God, not an empire or a kingdom of church community. It's nothing about that, obviously. So that's who we are and why church community? Well, as I've just sort of alluded to, church community believes uh, the very truths of Matthew chapter 28 verses 18 to 20 entitled and known as the Great Commission where each and every one of us when we're filled with the Holy Spirit should be going and preaching and teaching and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone to all the ends of the world and of course paraphrasing Romans chapter 10 13 to 16. Everyone and anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. What a promise. But how can they know about Jesus Christ unless someone goes and someone takes the gospel and someone expounds the gospel, breaks it down for them and journeys them through in baby steps and leads them to a place where they can get fed nourished and discipled which is their local bible believing churches we're about building 
the local churches as we come alongside and partner with more and more churches. But we're about building the kingdom of God. So therefore, we preach, we teach, we evangelise, we train, we educate, we equip and we enable others to go and faithfully present the gospel to every man, woman and child. And let me just state here, many faithful witnesses, many faithful Christians have gone before us. They've had the T-shirt and they've worn it, shall we say. You know, they've bought the T-shirt, they've worn it, they've lived it, they've done it. We're not reinventing the wheel. In fact, we're going back to basic bread and butter evangelism. And we're enabling, we're equipping the church to actually go out and profess Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour. So there's nothing spectacular, there's nothing revolutionary about it, it's just we are at the moment carrying the baton that's been passed down by successive generations that have done it faithfully and have done it well. But it's now our time to get out and to do it whilst we've got the breath in our lungs and whilst we've got the energy to get out and do it. So therefore we come alongside churches and we re-engage and we enable, enable them to get out and do it with the people that they meet in their daily lives and their sphere of influence. How church community? Church community, as I've said, comes alongside churches. It trains and it equips them to win souls for Jesus Christ. And we do this through preaching, teaching, evangelism projects and workshops, outreach projects and events, prayer walking, absolutely critical to uh, immerse your neighbourhoods in prayer and community development and community engagement. If you'd like to know more, get in touch with us, do partner with us, do come alongside us, but most importantly, pray for us. Without prayer, it's nothing. We're nothing. We, we, you know, we need prayer and we need the daily infilling of the Holy Spirit. So without preaching, I'm going to uh, bring this video to a close. That is the um, who church come is, what church come is, when church come, where church come, the why church come and the how church come. And let me say, it's all for Jesus. It's all about Jesus and extending his kingdom and winning souls for Jesus Christ. God bless you all and do get in touch. Amen.